I'm Mata Hassan Zadeh, I'm 20 years old. I grew up around Manor House, um, spent the first 11 years of my life there. Um, then moved to Palmer's Green in North London with my parents. There was a lot of uh, shenanigans going on on our estate. But yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting, colourful place, I suppose, to grow up. When I came home and my mum saw my tongue ring for the first time, I managed to hide it for two weeks, which I thought was pretty good. But um, when she saw it for the first time, she did flip out slightly and uh, called me a punk tramp. I think right now, for young people, there's never been more to do. It's just the question of young people getting off their butts and actually looking for those things and getting involved. I've been at Live Magazine for almost two years now. I started out as a writer, uh, then took on the role as editor. Um, basically, everything that Live Magazine stands for is um, recruiting young people and um, encouraging them to do something positive with their time. What you're going to do is just breathe in, breathe out, and you're talking. Okay, doke. So that's the plan. You let me know if anything's too uncomfortable. Sure. Uh, the piercing was fine. Practically painless. Growing up in England has had, I think, a pretty big effect on my life and I guess how I've turned out as a person. Um, I've got a very strong culture from my parents. Often it's the little things that you notice, like, my folks drink tea without milk. <laughs> they like their black teas and they have about 20 cups a day. And I'm all about my builder's brews and stuff like that. And just the little things that I notice more than anything, to be honest. We are in Black Girl Books in Camden, my favorite bookshop. Oh, here it is, Ace. Yeah, this is one of my favorite books, plays even. Studied it for drama, it's just, it's really funny. Regardless of where my parents are from, which is Iran, this is, this has always been my home. It's a big part of how I think, how I've grown up as a person, just being around so many different cultures and so many different kinds of people. You don't really know who you're going to meet on a daily basis, and I think that's the beauty of it, really. It's, it has this spontaneity about it. Amazing, Michael Owen. I used to fancy Michael Owen when I was younger, a little bit. <laughs> Him and good old Golden Balls Beckham. Look how young he looks. God. Yes, I think I, I think I might have actually had a poster of him on my wall. I watch a lot of football though, because my family are absolutely football crazy, but I just tend to support the underdog, to be honest. Whoever the underdog of the match is, I'll root for them. My first clubbing experiences when I was like 15, 16, were down here as well, somehow getting into places like Underworld and Electric Ballroom. Yeah, so a lot of memories down here. Sorry guys. Being selected to do this is um, a little bit overwhelming, I guess, a bit um, a bit like, whoa, I suppose. Um, I guess for me, it was just, I was just doing what I'd love to do and to be recognised for that is quite, it's quite nice really. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think it just goes to show, to be honest with you. I mean, two years ago, I dropped out of uni, wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do with myself and just knew that I enjoyed writing really. And, I think it just goes to show that if you apply yourself and you put the hours in, you put the hard work in, opportunities like this come along and these, th those could open even more doors. So 